Mann. So semi-final one about to get underway here on table number one, which is our TV table for the day. Okay, it's Naveen to break off frame number one. He's taking on BC Karthik here. We've also got action on table number two, MS Arun against Deepak. We will try and bring you updates from that as well. Catching the red a little thick and not too much damage done there. I think Naveen should be able to get the ball back in the balk area quite comfortably. Agonizingly close to the bottom pocket there, but a little bit of fortune there for Naveen. little bit of spot of bother here for Karthik because there's no natural route back to Bok from here. It's probably the best that he could do. I'm very fortunate to have the ball a little close to the cushion there which makes the shot a little more difficult for Naveen. I'm not sure he's going to be able to take this one on. And the early part of the match here, a little bit of nerves. Struck that beautifully. Those are the kind of shots that give you a lot of confidence when you pull them off right towards the beginning of a match. He does have that red on the left corner pocket that he can stun in for the black. A little bit of awkward queuing here above the yellow makes the shot more difficult, but he struck that very well. An excellent shot, and the cannon on the red has given him a very, very good position on the black. So, okay, it's Naveen getting in first here in the first semi final. time around not able to convert that pot and haven't left much here I think this red goes once again you can make out those nerves where the players are just about striking the ball to make sure he gets the pot not really worry about the position there he's okay doesn't really have a follow-up after this black and there it is Bef you know leaving the cue ball on the cushion makes the shot even more difficult and that's why he's missed out on the red but he's fortunate for the black to have covered the pocket It's just going to be a safety from Naveen. Karnataka State Billiards Association bringing you the Karnataka State Open Snooker Championship 2022. 
this event particularly open to all the residents of Karnataka state. And a pretty handsome price pot as well, 1.5 lakhs with 50,000 for the winner. And that's an excellent safety shot there by BC Karthik. It's going to be a two cushion escape for Naveen. Trying to get the red which is closest to the black spot. I'm sure he didn't play for that red. Here's a good opportunity for Karthik. Still very, very early stages in the match and early stages in the frame as well. bit of work to do here for Karthik having to use the spider to queue over the reds this is very missable the only good news here is he just has to drop the black in because the red closest to the black spot goes but he's got the black too thin and I could could be end of break here. So clearly both players still uh, trying to get a hold. Haven't really been able to capitalize on the opportunities given from either players. Pot in the center pocket, but not a very good shot in terms of the position, positional aspect of the, of the game. It will have to be a did attempt the pot with a shot to nothing, and he's gotten away with it as well. So, a bit of fortune there for BC Karthik. Now, he's put Naveen uh, in trouble a couple of times in this frame. This doesn't seem like a very difficult escape, just one cushion closest to the pink. I think Naveen looks from coming from behind of two cushions. And he's done well and he's got the cover where the black is on the pocket on the right corner. So we're gonna see a, a little bit of a a short period of some safety game. KS Naveen ranked number one in 2018-19 in the 15 Reds category. And he's also currently ranked number two in the six red snooker category in Karnataka. So very seasoned campaigner. Very, very good under pressure situations. And he had a pretty close match yesterday against Akmal. Going all the way down to the wire there, a best of seven. He came through with that uh, quarterfinals 4-3. Just catching the red a bit thin that time, but once again, just about misses the blue there or would have uh, had Naveen in trouble once again.
On table number two, we have the second semi-final going on. That's MS Arun taking on Deepak. It's time to welcome my fellow commentator to the com box. Good morning, Tilak. Good morning, Chasha. So quite a couple of very, very interesting matches lined up here today. Two Bushin escape there for BC Karthik. And once again, that black coming to the rescue has gotten away with this. The way the balls are situa situated, uh, the player who makes the first mistake is going to pay heavily. Absolutely. Seems like a take the first black and then many on the offer. Would have liked the cue ball a little tighter to the cushion at that time. Naveen was trying to snooker Karthik behind the pink. That's an excellent safety shot there once again from BC Karthik. Both seasoned campaigners, bit of cat and mouse going on there. with the black on the pocket you can see all the reds are now slowly beginning to take the right side of the table and you know uh, absolutely that's what ends up happening sometimes when you have a color ball covering one of the pockets and uh, a pretty scrappy frame uh, is uh, you know is is what it's going to be i guess uh both players warming up their nerves for the first frame of semi-finals, a big game. Karthik had it pretty easy yesterday in the other quarter-final when he beat Sean. Yes, that was one of the easier matches yesterday in the quarters. Uh, Sean, formidable player. And that's a foul there by Karthik getting too close to the black. In fact, Sean has had a couple of uh, 70s in his previous outings, but unfortunately wasn't able to bring his A game into the quarterfinals. We've had a, a, a few casualties in this tournament already. Absolutely. You know, the number one seed and the number two seed have been knocked out. Have been knocked out at the early stages. M. L. Lakshman, who is the current uh, number one state player. B. Bhaskar was also another casualty. Yes, the number two ranked famous. player Bhaskar lost to the talented Sheikh Najib. And Sean Davis got the better of M. L. Lakshman. But like I said, wasn't able to keep up that form in the quarterfinals and went down quite easily to B. C. Karthik.
so this is a good opportunity here for Naveen absolutely to try and close out this game he just has about a 15 point lead just got a hold for the pink here and leave himself a nice angle to come back towards the top of the table there are a couple of reds that are available yes that are easily accessible he would like to you know land on the one that's closest to the pocket and make the way for the black into that pocket as well Hasn't finished ideally on this red, but still gives him an opportunity to just drop it in and try and hold for the black. But oh, there you go. I think he's, uh, That's a big mistake from Naveen. Opens the door in this frame for BC Karthik. It's 32 10. He's trailing 22 with lots of reds on the table. That's not the best shot he's played, leaving himself in no man's land. This isn't really going to be a very easy table to clear for in either of the players who gets an opportunity here. It so the, the 22 point lead now looks pretty handy for KS Naveen, the way the balls are situated. That's a beautiful drop there by Karthi. Unfortunately, he may not have landed that open red. He does have a shot to nothing with the red that's just below the black. And take the ball down towards the box. Catches the black on the way back. He didn't want that. But I think he's gotten away with it. The, the two reds blocking that red from going Absolutely. into the right corner. I've been getting a second look at that. But from the looks of it, I think it is on. Oh, and he's Another erratic shot there by Naveen. He hasn't really capitalized on the opportunities that have been presented to him by Karthik. This is another pressure pot coming up. You can tell the nerves of both the players not really going in for their regular crisp shots. It's another opportunity here for Naveen and he's definitely going to hope that he does enough to win the frame from here the the reds have just opened out a little bit they look a little better than they were a couple of shots back absolutely with the colors open as well now this isn't a gimme Presents Kartik with another opportunity at the table.
just on the wrong side of the blue there would have liked it to go a little more for the red but he's okay i think he should be done enough to get past the blue Once again, not the best positional shot, even if he had that red in. Absolutely, Shash. Both players, Both players seem to look very, very nervous currently yes. and making uh, some unforced errors. I'm sure we're going to see uh, a little better break building once the both players have settled down a little bit warmed up, yeah. looks like it's going back to safety play still six reds on the table still an open frame and the score is now 32 23 with just a nine point deficit for bc Kartik. semi-final which gives you a lot of confidence so both players being watchful unfortunately the cue ball goes in off it was struck pretty hard though and uh, here's another opportunity for BC Karthik Himself a shot at the red <laughs> down the line. This is another difficult red pot coming up for Karthik. Hasn't really had a hold of the cue ball so far in this frame. And there's not much that he can leave except for the red that he's taking on right now. Again, the cue ball so close to the cushion just doesn't seem comfortable with the table yet, Karthik. Another awkward little phase of the frame coming up. We did see Naveen struggling a little bit yesterday in his pre-quarter match against Francis Joe. He was down 3-0 there and came back strongly to win that match. So, uh, Francis Francis Joe has been playing some exceptional snooker in absolutely, the last couple of absolutely. tournaments. Absolutely. Ranked number four in the current six red state ranking. So he has been about, and he has made a quite, quite he has made quite a few upsets in the last uh, few games that he's played and almost pulled off another one there. And uh, Navin did Fabulously well to come back from uh, love three down to win the game there. He's had a couple of tough matches coming into the semi final, which also shows that he's kind of a slow starter. Takes a bit of time to warm up, but I'm hoping that he can get that first frame on the board 
as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's, that's an excellent shot. shot there. That's where the experience comes in. Absolutely, Naveen seems more and uh, comfortable with the table and the cue ball today than BC Karthik. He seems to have gotten hold of the pace very well of the table. So another chance here to just extend his lead by a wee bit. The two reds here on the towards the top side of the table aren't really easy pots and the one that's tied to the cushion on the bottom part of the table is is definitely going to be difficult. He would have liked a little more stun on that shot and off the cushion. Unfortunately he's landed on nothing here. Both players haven't really been able to show their positional play so far in this frame, haven't controlled the cue ball as well as they would have liked. Absolutely. So pretty slow start here to semi-final one of the Karnataka State Open Snooker Championship 2022. I must say uh, that uh, the Karnataka State Billiards Association is uh, working very strongly towards improving the sport and introducing uh, cash prize tournaments and, and getting players in the circuit involved because uh, over the years there's uh, the amount of players that have come into the sport has also increased and KSB are continually working towards uh, improving the game you know at the junior level sub junior level and senior level and Sasha, you've been a player yourself for, for decades now. And uh, you clearly can see the amount of uh, time and effort that's going into these events. Absolutely agree. I think the game has come a long way in the last couple of years. We do see a lot of uh, prize money tournaments right. that are happening pretty actively in the state and in the country. Taking that red on, that was a very, very thin cut, but he managed to drop that in. And now, BC Karthik has another good opportunity here. Absolutely. He makes a good pot and he could well back in the game. He stung this pink in and hold for the red. He's played that well. Yeah, he's landed a good red there. One just off one cushion. Back to the big colors. the key shot here he'll have to make sure he has an angle on the pink to hold for the red that that will go in the center but it's a very fine margin there to drop that red into the center yeah, I think it's on the right side of the black though actually and uh, he can just fall right behind that red Kartik's done well there would have liked it to closer to the cushion closer I think he played it a touch too hard. I'm going to have to use the rest, but oh, that's a, big oh, that's shot. a brave shot. Not wanting to risk the drop shot, he went for the cross double and landed beautifully on the pink there. like the wheels are in motion for Karthik. He seems to be queuing more comfortably now. Yeah, but the green is still going to be the key shot in this frame if Karthik uh, is going to put that first frame on the board. Having to stretch a bit there. Queued that beautifully. Got a lot of action on the cue ball there. So the key shot in the frame coming up here. These are very missable. Oh, he's played that very well. This has been a good break by BC Karthik so far. 27. And he's got a good angle here. A natural angle to just drop the brown into the pocket and hold for the blue. And if he's able to do that, 
I think we can say that BC Karthik might go one up here in the semi-final one. He's played some very, very good shots so yeah, far. Absolutely. He needs to drop two more colours here. With He's 13 ahead. And that's 17. Another. He just needs to drop the blue in to confirm the strength. So what looked like a shaky start now has turned into a pretty good break. And uh, Naveen will probably be uh, wondering about a couple of those erratic shots that he played earlier in the frame. So that was frame ball for BC Karthik, barring snookers. I think he should be up one frame against Naveen, who just looks a bit out of sorts so far. Absolutely. That's uh, the frame to BC Karthik. Yes, it's well done after a shaky start getting back into the frame. So BC Karthik goes one up in the first semi-final, 79-44. We'll be back in a moment. Yeah, I have like sponsors here. These are the only sponsors. So we'll plug we'll plug them in wherever. We'll plug them in somewhere. Spokes and gears, Pro Sport India. What do the what do these guys do, sir? Are you mute? Are you mute? Are you mute? Right after a fantastic 49 break to win the first frame, it's BC Karthik to break off in the second frame. It was well done in the end to come back with that break and take that first frame. Absolutely. Wonderful shot by Naveen. Naveen will need to change gears quickly if he has to get comfortable in this best of seven semi final. He does seem out of sorts and he's left BC Karthik with an opening here. Like Sasha mentioned earlier, Naveen has always been a sort of a slow starter. But this is a big match. And you wouldn't want to give BC Karthik a hold in this game early up. And it's also a best of seven, so you will have to make sure that you get your uh, your tempo and your flow going as quickly as possible Absolutely. before it's too late. And this game is all about rhythm. He's given himself a nice little angle to just drop the red and land the black. Karthik gets the first opportunity in this frame to put up some points on the board in the second frame to extend his lead if he can. Quite a 
you open red, then it's just about much past that red. Not quite. Don't seem very happy with the shot. Seems like end of break here, unless he takes on the double. Kartik does fancy his double every now and then. Well, it did work for him in the previous frame. Had a very, cru a very crucial uh, juncture of that first frame. Absolutely, with the last red on the table there. So I'm not sure if he's left that red into center. Naveen opting safety play I don't think he would like the cue ball the way he's left it but he'd love to go down to the cushion for the ball going for the aggressive safety here opening out oh, the reds absolutely. and now the reds are well spread out big brave shot there but uh, it's also a pressure pot this from Karthik because it's a, almost like a break shot for these guys that's nicely oh. landed there by Kartik beautifully played that he has been striking it well since his last visit in the first frame and excellent pot and uh, using the red to hold for the black so ominous signs here for Naveen yeah once again gets that nudge on the red which he Would could have avoided absolutely hasn't really had the best cue ball so far in this match Very, very fluent with his queuing. Ever so often they have to play good recovery shots to get back into mm -hmm. their rhythm and groove. <coughs> I think Kartik here has given himself a wonderful opportunity. <coughs> Sorry about that. So once again, building up a sizable lead here. This break looks good. It does have all the reds open. This could be a frame winning opportunity from here. And the opportunity Barring any unforced errors from Karthik, I think he should probably land a century here. Maybe the first century of the game. Could very well see the first century, Tilak. We have seen our 87 from Bhaskar yes. in his round of 32, and that's the highest break of the tournament so far. But this is a really good opportunity for Karthik to overcome that and put in a not just the highest break of the tournament, but also the first century if possible, because the, the way the reds are placed here. Looks like a really, really good chance for VC Karthik to put up a frame winning break. And has done much better with the cue ball in this visit, in this break. Then he has the entire match, you're absolutely right. We'll have to go down for the blue this time. Or is he able to hold for the black? A little straight on this black would have liked a little more angle. Still in control. The cue ball a little closer to the cushion than he would have liked. red and land on the black again oh and makes a mess of it now he's got six reds left on the table no, probably not alive in the frame probably not the sh the right shot selection there for me I would have looked at the center uh, as an op option as well and uh, 
I thought he had enough anger to land the pink and then get on the next reds. So good chance here for Naveen. Absolutely. With uh, 75 on the table, Naveen still has a bit of a chance here. We'll have to go one red at a time here and try and build his break rather than think too far ahead in this break right now. He hasn't really been able to strike the ball as well as he would have liked. So this is a very, very crucial break for him in this match. Under pressure. He does have a tighter hold on the cue ball does, as compared to BC Karthik. But he has finished on the wrong side of this red and the red closes to the cue ball. Also, not really hampering him in any way, but it does make the shot a little more difficult. Well, he's given himself a that has angle on that pink. That hasn't gone as per plan, and now it's just getting a little more difficult. It's nicely done by Naveen. That has given himself a tougher shot on the red, though. He would have liked to get on that red a little thicker. shot coming up and I think he would want to take up the red that's on the left cushion Absolutely, Slash. because that leaves himself a natural angle onto the black pressure pot coming up he's done well there Naveen that's an excellent pot by Naveen just about getting into his groove now as we Absolutely. can see and he's landed the black there with a sufficient angle get on to the next red. Both the reds are awkwardly placed right now. He will have to try and fall behind the red to get them in on either of the center, center pockets. pockets yeah. Nicely done there by Naveen. I think he's fine. The red goes into the left corner and he'll try and hold for the pink if he can and drop in behind that red. So this looks ominous for Karthik if uh, Naveen lands on the last red with all the colors on the spot. Just taking a quick glance at the scoreboard. Could have done better with that. Possibly. Not in ideal shape right now, and I'm not very sure if that red passes the blue into the green pocket. Yeah. We have big shot coming up. Naveen has sort of clawed back into the strain. Still alive in the strain. That's wonderfully done. To go a little ahead of the cushion to land comfortably for the yellow. But this is a big shot coming up again. So both players showing a lot of grit towards the end of each frame. Right. Just about drops that one in and uh, it has to roll and it has. Yeah. I think he's just about scraped. Not by the looks of Naveen. He looks a bit miffled, but I guess he's okay. Just yellow. makes the yellow pot a lot tougher. Absolutely. Navi now trailing 16. And he's made a mess of that one again. Playing with the touch of rights. 
side to maybe land on the green, Naveen has missed the pot. Trailing 16, 61, 45. Karthik now has a chance to close out this frame. So just needs the yellow, green and brown to take his lead to 2-0. These are very missable and he has missed that once again, but very has, lucky has the brown come to the rescue, I guess. Cue ball, yes. Naveen playing a hard shot and fortunately eat off in the center pocket. It extends Kartik's lead. 20 points now. He really should have uh, tried to finish off the frame with that visit. It was a very good opportunity. And now, Karthik again. Why is this yellow going to finish? I think the pink is coming to Karthik's rescue again. Apologizes to Naveen. Unintentional snooker. The balls have favoured Karthik so far in this match. This isn't the first time that he's uh, left with a Naveen in a snooker. Here's a chance for Karthik to drop this red in. It's a natural angle to go towards the green. So, absolutely a good chance to close out this frame. like Lady Luck is smiling on him today. And this time he's put him in a bit of uh, trouble. Not an easy angle to get out of. Because the fear of actually missing the yellow and leaving in a free ball is pretty high here. And he might also catch the black if he goes off the left cushion. So cushion release but with the two big colors looming in the horizon it does seem a tricky shot trailing 20 not really a situation or a position you want to be in a frame just to let our viewers know that the foul and miss does apply here. Yes. And oh, he's got the there. yellow. And he's landed the cue ball well, I guess. Maybe the blue to his rescue this time. Well, it's Naveen's turn Looks to like have a little bit of luck. between the two players, Sasha. Absolutely. He's played that well. I think Karthik might want to put the balls back. And the lead now, 24 points, which means that Karthik will only require the yellow once he comes back to the table. And I think the markers. the cue ball being re-spotted here. Three foul and misses allowed here in this tournament for the format. Absolutely. So once again, trying to swerve around the blue and this time Catch he does well. make contact with the yellow. 
this isn't a gimme, but it's, it's very makeable. So frame ball coming up for Kar Karthik in frame number two. Once again gets away with it. Yeah, he didn't seem to have played a good position on shot as well. Naveen holding on to this frame. We've seen both players show a glimpse of what they're capable of Absolutely. with Karthik uh, providing that brilliant 49 in the first frame and Naveen with his 30 odd in the second frame to catch up but not able to close out yet. to be careful with the yellow though just I don't think the green himself. covers yellow and yeah. that's a mistake by Naveen looks like Kartik swerving around the green and he makes the body yes that was frame ball and uh, Naveen will now have to play out a snooker trailing 26 for 25 on the This is a good opportunity to try and leave the cue ball tight behind the black. And I think he's done well. He's done fabulously well. Great shot there by Naveen. And also having left the green right next to the brown makes the shot even more difficult. But he does have a two cushion escape here. But things could go wrong for BC Karthik if he misses this green. Just about catches that green. And meanwhile in the second semi-final, MS Arun seems to have landed a 78 break. He is probably closing in on the first century. He is two frames down though, Trailing so this is a pretty yes. good effort by Arun to come back strongly in that match. Naveen's done well. Gives him a chance to snooker him. Arun hasn't finished really well with the cue ball there. Hampered queuing above the pink. Shouldn't really be very difficult to drop this red in, but with the spider, just just makes things a little more awkward. Absolutely. He has the right angle to just drop the ball and make the black. century of the tournament or he just dropped the red but I think he takes the honors for the highest break in the tournament so far and puts the first frame on the board for himself for yes. himself so Naveen in the meantime has played a wonderful shot here bringing in all his experience to the fore there Naveen needs one snooker little stunt follow there with enough power to carry the brown but 
past the blue towards the black. I don't really see any difficulty in uh, Karthik removing the snooker. Here's another chance to get the cue ball behind the pink and the brown towards the center of the table. So this frame really isn't over for Naveen. He does have, uh, you know, the, cue, the, the, the balls placed in a way where he can produce the snookers. Catches the black that time. He would have loved to miss the black. And the brown catches the pink. Bit of bad luck there for Naveen. A little twist in the tail. Absolutely. Frame number two. It's been kind of a pendulum. This frame has been swinging both ways with Naveen actually having control of the table and then making an error and handing it back to Karthik. But here he's back on the table and he has a chance to now equal this match. 22 points on the table, 19 the difference. Just doing the math, Naveen. Really, this is uh, the second frame handed over to him in a plat on a platter, and he must make sure that he capitalizes here. Makes the pot. Played with a with a touch of right hand side, which straightened the cue ball, which Absolutely. isn't really the best way to play that pot. It wasn't necessary. And now he's left himself a difficult blue. Training 15. Looks like he's going for a pot. Nicely done there by Naveen. That's an excellent pot by Naveen. Pressure pot though. And now he has a good angle on the pink to screw back towards the black. He will need both colors here to win this frame. So this is another important shot for Naveen. Looks like he's bringing all that zip into the shot to land himself on the black. Once again, excellent queuing, but the ball's just running away from him a little bit. Oh, and maybe not happy Unfortunate to have finished where he has, but this is a thin cut. And he does Nicely well. Nicely done it. And Naveen's come back well to place this match at one all. Karthik must be a bit upset with himself, disappointed rather, because he uh, had a good control of this game, 60 odd points in front. These two have known each other for a while. They're more friends off the table as well. For semi final, one all, and the second game placed at 2 1 in favor of uh, Deepak. A word about our sponsors Pro Sports India, Spokes and Gears, and Q Sports Network. Pro Sports India and Spokes and Gears are into all kinds of cycling accessories, equipment and paraphernalia that you would need for all cycling enthusiasts across Karnataka and India. Pro Sports India, Spokes and Gears. They have been uh, kind enough to be involved with this event and Q Sports Network. They have been a vital part of uh, the Q Sports fraternity over the last three, four years, bringing a lot of live action to viewers on Facebook, not just for the state opens 
uh, through the interclub circuit, through a whole series of cash prize tournaments, and all over India, these guys uh, are making life easy for spectators who love Q Sports because the coverage over the years has been poor, but thanks to Q Sports Network, we get to see a whole lot of snooker on Facebook. And uh, yeah, they are our sponsors for the Karnataka State Billiards Open Snooker Championship 2022. And uh, this is being held at KSBA, just my bound road. My fellow commentator, Shasha Sambi, is an exceptional snooker player himself. And uh, he was uh, unfortunately knocked out in the earlier parts of this tournament. but he's been around for over two decades, contributing to the sport, not just playing, but organizing. And he has uh, coached a lot of young, upcoming talent. He's aligned with a few academies, and he does his bit for uh, Q Sports. He's an exceptional billiards player, and I have seen him playing since the early 90s. Players have taken a break now here on uh, our match video table with the scores at one all. Just to give you a quick update on the other table, other semi final, Deepak leading 2 1 and leading 27 9 in the fourth frame. Arun seems to have found his groove, making the highest. Uh, of the tournament thus far in the third frame. That should be another interesting game with both players on, on top of that game. We'll be back in a moment with uh, Naveen about to break in the third frame. So one each in uh, semi-final number one. Naveen with a little bit of fortune in that second frame. Where Karthik's cue ball goes in off and gives Naveen an opportunity to come back. still to produce some really big breaks in this match so far but I wouldn't put it far from them BC Karthik has looked good a bit of fortune there for Naveen to have gotten away with that So a difficult blue for BC Karthik, taking that one on, keeping in mind that he wouldn't leave anything easy for Naveen when he comes back to the table. Left to try is screw the cue ball back towards the box. Or just try to hold for the black. I'm not sure if the black goes, but that was a very brave shot to take on because he would be leaving reds but I'm not sure he's left anything very easy the red to the left corner is a is a thin cut he does have this uh, the red the closest to the cue ball to hold for the black
also is an opportunity here for Naveen. We have seen the sport gain a lot of popularity, Tilak, over the last couple of years. Absolutely. Like we mentioned earlier, the number of cash prize tournaments. There's a mistake from Naveen once again. Not really playing up to the mark, both players here making a lot of unforced errors. Yeah, that's right. We haven't really seen any big breaks in this semi final yet. We did see one on table two from Arun, the highest of the tournament so far. And that's an excellent pot by BC Karthik. And he's got prime position on the table once again. and not really working out as per plan and now he has a difficult red pot he's done well there held on beautifully for the black it seemed a bit of an aggressive uh, opening break by Naveen this third frame Sasha very similar to the second frame where he did open out the cue ball open out the bunch at the early stage of the frame. When he played a safety, yes. But he has to be careful here. All these semi finalists are capable of landing big breaks. So there's no taking it easy at any point whatsoever. There will be nerves, we all know that. But these are guys we're used to crucial and crunch games. They definitely know how to handle pressure. Building up something significant in this frame so far a break of 22 and he does have a couple of reds out in the open still We'll have to either go down towards the box for the red that's in the open. We'll have to make sure that he drops right in behind this red in the same pocket. Got the kiss, but not uh, enough wasn't, contact as he would have wasn't wanted. the right choice of shot, according to me. 
chances of it going wrong were much higher and they have and now he's left himself with this long pot it's done well oh, that was a good looking pot down. unfortunate to have finished uh, where he has But he does have a, a crucial 30, 35 point lead in the frame. And if he can tuck this one behind the green and put the pressure back on Naveen. Oh, he does go for the pot. That's an excellent green pot. Excellent shot there. And he may have just landed the red. That was a good looking green pot there. Yeah, again, uh Simple shot on this red to land one of the bob colors. He has looked very good in this match so far. Produced the 49 break in the first frame and looks good so far here. too. He's on a 42 currently, Sasha. Yeah, so looks good to go past his 49. is an important shot in this break if he does manage to convert this red it could be a frame, frame winning opportunity from here but that was never easy and I think he's gotten away with it as well it's absolutely hasn't left any red on as has been the case for him on multiple occasions in this match true and Naveen's been playing catch up since the second frame yes Naveen coming back to win second frame. Bringing in all his experience to the table. That was a very, very crucial frame for him to win. It seemed like it was all over with Kartika ahead by 61 points. Absolutely. And in, in a shorter format like a best of seven, you wouldn't want to be two frames behind. True. Clawed his way back into that one. Taking this spot on, I think. Drop it in and land himself on the blue, and that was not a wide shot to play. So very difficult angle from there to be able to get that pot. Sensitive pockets as well. BC Karthik, the unseeded player in this tournament, defeated Sean Davis in the quarterfinals to book to book his place here in the semis, and an excellent shot Beautiful once shot again. He has been striking the ball very well and very positively he in this match. the first frame, but ever since he got that break in the second frame, he's been striking it beautifully well. It's unfortunate to lose the second frame, though. All the players uh, playing the semi-finals are all from Karnataka State Billiards Association. We did see a lot of participation in this tournament, uh, about 120 odd players playing this event Absolutely. from different parts of the state. I think more than the, the cash prize component, it is such a wonderful opportunity for youngsters to test their nerves against qualified and ranked players of the state in an open championship because seldom will you get the opportunity to play with such big names of the sport, especially uh, the newer generation, the younger bunch. And these are seasoned campaigners. We have seen uh, all the top state players participating in this event, so great opportunity for the youngsters to lock horns with them, learn the finer nuances of the game by Absolutely. watching, by, by playing. Performing under pressure, most importantly, you know, it is such a key part of being successful at any sport. So here's another opportunity for Naveen to 
work his way back into the frame. He's behind by 49 points. But there's enough on the table for him to work. And all the reds, except for one on the left, corn, left cushion, are, uh, are in portable positions. He would like to cannon this red out of the way to hold. He did try that. And uh, in trying to do so, he has missed the black pot as well. So this could be a frame winning visit for BC Karthi. If he, there's a thin cut into the right corner, but if he manages to drop that, it should be curtains for Naveen for this frame. Just needs to drop that red and he'd make the black naturally. There's a shot. Naveen trailing 48. been fortunate once again not giving Naveen an open red it's strange how the role of the balls plays such a big part in this sport Naveen unlucky there again as you can Shh. see yeah try to play a simple safety shot Clearly, the snooker gods are in favor of BC Karthik so far in this match. Karthik, unlucky with that now. And he's put himself in a spot of bother. Well, that's how the pendulum swings, right? One goes your way and then the other goes against you. And now, it's going to be a tricky one to get out of. And the red that's out in the open there, available in the middle. Can he get past that red, red to get to the pink? Or maybe even the brown, but looks very unlikely from here. So Naveen requiring snooker so that that means the the foul and miss will not be applicable and course, Naveen uh, will have to play from where the ball stands or he could ask his opponent to play again but won't be able to put the cue ball back. Yeah, Naveen was trailing 53 with 51 on the table so clearly no respot there because of that very reason. He has left this red on now. Now Naveen is trailing 49. And Kartik has sunk the red and I think with it the frame as well. We'll have to try and just drop the pink in to make sure he seals this frame. He's not really bothered about the reds. He's done okay there. I think he does have that red to the right corner. Yeah, and I think that was uh, frame ball to Kartik. In the meantime, Deepak has gone up 3 1. 3 1, yes. On table number 2. That's another irony of the game sometimes. Yeah, the man with the highest break is trailing 1 3. You could be striking the ball well and still be two frames behind. Naveen concedes the third frame. So Karthik leading 2-1. We'll be back in a moment.
the screen right now this is on the screen yeah the karnataka state open championship 2022 the semi finals underway live from the karnataka state billiards association and these live pictures brought to you by csn q sports ne network you can catch the finals of this tournament later this afternoon the finals will kick off at 3 pm so karthik gets frame number 4 going with a 2-1 lead it's a good looking pot there by navin but was unable to hold the cue ball for the black so a pressure pot coming up that's a good looking pot there by navin still has work to do before he can get himself in a good position this red does go in the middle hasn't really been striking the ball as well as he would like another unforced error navin has been making a few of these unforced errors this game a couple of erratic shots opening up the bunch in the earlier games has cost him two frames dearly again just to remind you all that ms arun made a break of 93 the highest break of the tournament so far in the third frame of the other semi final unfortunately he's trailing 13 ms arun to deepak famous on the way there you see kartik landing himself nicely on another black there rest land a simple black maybe even consider going into the bunch if he presents himself with right angle center pocket was an upset in the shot he didn't make the red though comfortably will be forced to play a safety shot now didn't leave his cue ball in the right spot there for the black to be able to go around towards that red should have left himself up up the black to go into the bunch if he wanted to continue that break absolutely and you called it right out your sasha he seemed even though he's two frames one up against Navin he hasn't seemed his best with the cue ball control today Navin in the meantime hasn't found his groove still making a few one forced errors which really releases the pressure of PC Kartik when you see your opponent missing a few balls you tend to get a little more comfortable and adventurous in playing those uh, shots that are half chances and Navin's not helping his own cause by releasing the pressure again a, a safety that he is sort of underplayed opened up the bunch and left a red on for BC Kartik 
top thread of a little bit thicker than he would have liked. So then he so get a deep screw and pull back on this one because he doesn't have an easy color except the blue. He cued that very well. Beautiful. Got Kitana. some action on the cue ball. That one just catching the jaws of the pocket but drops. I think he's just screwed back a uh, touch uh, more than he would have liked. He would have liked. Yeah, absolutely. But he does have the one to the center with the pink in the left corner. And once again, a good opportunity for BC Karthik with the way the balls are placed here. Looks like We're he hoping we get one. to see a sizable break this time. Both these players very, very capable of putting in the 50s and the 60s, but we want to see one of them go past that century mark here, and uh, which is what our viewers are also looking forward probably to. looking forward to. The game has evolved over the last couple of years, and uh, a lot of players working towards their break building abilities. And it's not just about winning frames anymore, it's about trying to win those frames. In, in a single visit. Playing good snooker and you know, uh, playing the sport the way it should be played and not just the days of scrappy frames are long gone. You're seeing most uh, players of uh, this caliber trying to go for their big breaks and with uh, the kind of exposure that we have today, it's lovely to see the sport being played aggressively. And in my opinion, that's exactly how it should be played. Snooker can never be played with uh, fear in the background. And open, easy queuing. You work hard, you train hard, but when you get to the table, you put all that practice to use by playing freely. And Karnataka State has produced some good talent over the years. Absolutely. Of course, one of the biggest names in the country. In the world. Our very own Pankaj Advani. Absolutely. One of the best exponents of the game in both formats, in billiards and in snooker. He is, he is the golden boy of uh, Indian snooker. And uh, the number of titles that he's brought back to his motherland is just unbelievable. Absolutely. 23 from what I remember last. 24 now. 24 now, yeah. 24 world titles. He was an exceptional name in the sport. I've had the good fortune of interviewing Pankaj and some of the top names of uh, snooker uh, at another tournament uh, that was conducted in Bangalore. And they were so appreciative of how things have changed as well over the years with the conditions and purely because there's so many sponsors who are on Kartik Mr. Regulation right there and they planned himself a good position as well. Now it's given Naveen a chance again and Naveen needs to claw back into this one again. Trailing he's 8 to 51. 43 points down but points down. he's right in the middle of the balls here and this, this is where I think Naveen's experience should come come to the fore, he, if he can convert this into a frame winning opportunity, he's also going to give himself the confidence going forward in this match. Because he's always, like you said, been playing catch up in this match so far, one frame behind. And these are the kind of situations that you find yourself in where, you know, it sets you apart from the rest of the crop. Also going to give us a little indication of his mental makeup, stick makeup right now, and, and Naveen is clearly not at the top of his game today. Struggling a bit, his body language doesn't seem right. S he needs to get all that experience back and focus all over again. It's not going to be with easy with BC Karthik. He's going to walk all over him if he continues playing this way. Mental composure is one of the key factors in this game, sure. as much as the, the technique and your ability. Skill, yes. I think the mental aspect of the game, especially with this sport, is 
very very strong you need to be very very mentally strong to be able to go and produce produce the uh, the Results breaks the, the, the frame winning breaks when it's really required sure. and I was watching an interview on BBC a while ago Sasha and it, it's it was a sports psychologist who who sort of trained and worked on snooker players at the uh, you know in the UK the league and the the circuit there and he mentioned that the mental toughness that some of the snooker players have and the way they condition themselves they probably face more pressure than the english premier league footballers he says the kind of intensity and focus that goes into the game with uh, the spectators being in your face he says seldom are there sports where there are viewers sitting that close to the table watching you every little movement makes a difference the concentration the focus and and the amount these guys need to put their head down and, and play the pressure they face is not is not easy i'm not surprised to hear that at all tilak this is one of those sports which unlike a lot of other sports when when your opponent is on the table there's nothing you can do about Absolutely. it right you just have to wait for your opportunity and once you get that opportunity you have to try and grab it both hands uh, that's one of the facets of this game that makes it so interesting that you know you you go back to your chair and then you you switch off and try to come back and switch on again and that's the ability that a lot of people don't have that's why you know pankaj adwani is is a 24 time world champion because he's he's one of the best act exponents of being able to program his mind to just switch on and switch, switch off switch on and switch off absolutely and they compared to most other sports there's nobody hurling balls towards you nobody throwing anything towards you nobody kicking you nobody pushing you everything is stationary even golf to a certain extent has the wind conditions and the lay of the land that comes into play but snooker everything is stationary you're bending down it's your muscle memory it's and how much power you put into the shot and how much control you have on the shot it just seems like it's you versus you and not an opponent once, once you're on the table there's nothing else that can come in the way of you and the ball so uh, you you put it you put it aptly it's you versus you at most times there's another mistake by navin that just you know he with every single shot that he plays you can make out his his mental structure is not right there for the semi final so far and he's given up that frame so he Trailing goes down 62 points three frames to one in the semi final and i think he'll have to pull one out of the box here to Absolutely. be able to go past bc karthik karthik leading 3-1 now comfortably set in the semi final and deepak comfortably set there uh 3-1 for in the fifth frame arun has uh looks like he's going to pull one back pull one back yeah So this is the best of seven semi-final, and uh, PC Karthik leads three-one. So just one frame away from booking a place in the finals. Looks like Arun just sank the last thread in the other semi-final, and uh, he should uh, trail just one frame now, two-three down. And uh, Deepak's gone back to his seat, so clearly he's given up on this one. Karthik with the lead of all, over fifty points. Arun, sorry. the lead of us who got in there and Deepak concedes that frame. So it's 3-2 in the other semi final. Deepak leading 3-2 and uh, semi final 1 MBC Karthik leading 3-1 against uh, KS Navin Kumar. Navin does seem out of sorts. Players are taking a short break. We'll be back with you in a moment.
bring you the live coverage of the semi-final Karnataka State Open Snooker Championship 2022 brought to you by Spokes and Gez, Pro Sports India and CSN. BC Karthik leading three frames to one against KS Naveen in semi-final one. And Deepak has that one frame lead against MS Arun who's looking pretty strong to come back. He's one frame behind at 3-2. That's the semi-final two going on at table number two. Live coverage of both semi-finals available on the Q Sports Network Facebook page. This is a prize money event with a total prize pot of one and a half lakhs with a winner taking home a handsome 50,000. Frame number five about to get underway here. Now we will have to pull up his socks now, Sacha. Trend one, three down. There's no room for any more errors now. He has looked out of sorts and I think he'll have to compose himself. He has his back against the wall in the semi-final. Things haven't gone his way also. He has been a bit unfortunate at times, but Karthik has given him ample opportunities, which he hasn't capitalized on so far. So it's, it's only fair to say that uh, Naveen hasn't been at the top of his game. Once again, not the ideal break-off. Yes, he's been, a, he's been a bit casual today with his approach to the game. Not sure why he's uh, out of sorts. This is exactly how he would not have wanted to start. Presenting Karthik with an easy black and a few open reds. A big match requires big temperament, the look. Absolutely. And Absolutely, I Sasha. think that somehow seems to be lacking from Naveen so far. I mean, I wouldn't put it put it past him. I'm sure he can come back still, He's but the signs are all doing it, yeah. are not in favour of Naveen so far. And BC Karthik once again back on the table, having given an easy opener, and now he has a chance to go into the bunch. Into the bunch. And if this works out well. It could be All bad news for Naveen. An excellent well shot there. I think he's he's looking in good shape. He's got the confidence behind him. He's got the lead. So this is this is a great opportunity for PC Karthik to close down the match right now. He's done really well to get a brilliant contact on that bunch. Catching yeah, nice the little angle on the black. Perfect angle. Just try to cannon the second red to hold for the red in the right corner. Now these are these are the shots that some of the some of the professionals play so well, which you know we're hoping that uh, players at this level are able to execute them. There you go. There you you go. know that's 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 what that's sets exactly you what apart you from the professionals, right? Uh, the game is a lot more difficult than it looks and the pros make it look easy but here this is an opportunity for Naveen once again he has had plenty of them once again it's it's he needs to bring in all that experience to the table now it's probably the last uh, hour of absolute focus for Naveen if he wants to stay alive in this tournament That's not the right choice of shot once again for me. He should have taken the rest and played it around for the blue. blue absolutely. You know, you got to put yourself in a position where you, you rule out anything, uh, you know, uh, wrong that can go positionally, especially when you're behind. Give yourself the easiest opportunity. And now he finds himself in trouble once again. What could have been an opportunity is now turned into another nightmare for Naveen. Absolutely. And he didn't seem very comfortable getting into that shot. He was not in the perfect position, the right body balance to execute that shot. 
Still, he decided to go with it, not using the rest. He's called on the black. He's done all right there. I guess time is running out for Naveen. He will have to pull, pull out his best. Let's pull something out of the and box here, Sasha. The next opportunity that he gets, we'll have to make sure that he capitalizes on that because so far it's all been downhill for Naveen. Here's an opportunity once again to play a good safety shot and put the pressure back on Naveen. It's, it's not always about leaving your opponent a pot. If you're able to leave your opponent with, the hand on his on, with his hand on the table, he has a chance to put the pressure back on you. Naveen making another unforced error, giving BC Karthik an opportunity at the table again. He's been presenting him with a lot of open reds and open tables to consolidate his position further in the match. Trailing 1-3, you'd expect Naveen to be a little more cautious. Yeah, his shot selection so far in this match has been very, very questionable. There was no reason for him to take on that difficult red. He could have played a good safety and put some pressure back on Karthik. Now Karthik is back on the table once again. I think he's going to Black try and drop this black in, Black's stun it across two cushions. He's, he's fortunate enough fortunate to kiss the pink and fall on the red. Yes. Things have gone his way as well a little bit. True, but he know. has been the better player today. Definitely had his queuing going more. A player who's been in better rhythm today compared to Naveen. Maybe just a tad bit lucky with a few shots that went wild for him and didn't really sell much to Naveen. But having said that, like you mentioned, Naveen has had the opportunity in this match and not capitalized on it at all. Karthik has produced those important breaks when, when really required. He has, he has brought in the 40-50s, which are good enough to win him the frames. Especially with Navi not striking well. That, that's another strange point. choice of shot, according to me, because you're leaving yourself in no position for the next red. So you'd rather put the opponent back in pressure by playing one of the box colors. Or, you know, these are some of the aspects of the game that, yeah. you know, when you watch, Rather than playing an exceptional shot yourself, you could force an error from the opponent. Absolutely. You're 3-1 up. You need to put pressure back on the opponent and try and close the match out. Naveen has been famous for coming from behind to win matches, so you don't want to give him that opportunity. You want to try and close out this match as early as possible. And like you mentioned earlier, he was trailing uh, Laugh 3 in the other game and he came back to win it. So... He's no stranger to these so there, conditions. There you go. I think Naveen has done really well to put this ball behind the brown and there's... Giving Karthik oh. very little room for a safety shot now. Meanwhile, uh, MS Arun has done well to consolidate his position in the other semi-final. He was trailing 2-3, he still is, and he's got a 55 nil lead in the sixth frame. And uh, Naveen could probably take a leaf out of MS Arun's book today because he's seen himself far more grittier at the table than Naveen has been. So here's another chance for Naveen with the balls well spread out. With the colors nice and open, pockets being open. I think it would be safe to say that this is going to be Naveen's last good opportunity at the table. Absolutely. And any mistake from here is obviously going to mean that Karthik's going to try and come and finish off the match because the way the balls are placed, I think it's about the player who can hold his nerve and go on to clear on with this visit. This is a great chance for Naveen. He needs to focus, put his head down. A good 40 or a 50 here will do him a lot of good. Yeah, absolutely. Build up his confidence. 
And that's what he needs right now, I think. He needs a little bit of confidence. He needs to see a few balls going in, build that break one at a time. A little change of luck from uh, uh, the lady luck for him would also be very helpful. He has landed himself a good opportunity here. He's playing around the pink with the black being blocked on both pockets. He needs to clear out one of those reds and give himself an opportunity on the black. He does have the angle on the pink here to play for the red on the left corner. Now he needs to bring all his focus and experience to the fore here. In a do or die kind of situation right Thank now, you, where he can't afford to make a mistake. He's played that well. Left himself a good angle to go down for the pink once again. Something on the pink spot. He's unhappy. He's got three pinks now. 21 the break. He's just trailing two points now. If Naveen does go on to put a sizable break here, I think we will see a little bit of switch in pressure from Naveen to Karthik because. That's, that's all it will take yeah. for a big match. That one moment where the pressure breaks and then Karthik PC could find himself giving into that pressure. Mm. May have overhit this ball a bit, landed, preferred to be closer to the pink, I mean, but he warrants a shot with the rest. Another aspect of the game which I feel needs to really be worked on is, you know, when you're when you're among the balls like this, you got to be more fluent. You know, you have to take on this pink; it's the right shot. So you got to be confident, back yourself, and just go for it. You know, I think he's done very well there he's to hold well for that red. That's a brilliant-looking pot. And now he's looking in very good shape. The break is 28. has always been one of those easy flown players but the first four frames of today's semi-final he's been out of sorts Let's see glimpses of his uh, rhythm and smoothness coming nice that's five pinks 35 giving himself a nice angle on this red and the black with a soft screw there Drop the black and get make the red to the center pocket now. Just played that well again. This has been a good break by Naveen. Very well composed. He's been able to put his apply himself Absolutely. much better than he has so far in the match. He may want to follow this ball a little ahead, give himself the right angle on the pink to land the two reds by the cushion. If he does make those reds, I think that will be game set and match for Karthik in this frame. I think he's done well there. Game set and frame, perhaps. Frame. <laughs> match would be a, a, a bit further away, absolutely. He's okay here so far. Just have to bounce off the top cushion, or off the side cushion for one of these reds. But the next red is 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 what is the important shot for Naveen in this frame. He hasn't played that well at all. Yeah, we'll let that ball to move ahead a little bit closer to the Reds. So his first 50 break of the match gives himself a 27 point lead with 43 on the table. We'll have to come up with a good safety shot here. I don't think he should take this red pot on. Absolutely, Shash, I think there, yeah. It's just giving, giving away the frame on a platter. Karthik is present with him with a relatively regulation red here. Naveen had 
the opportunity to play a good safety there and we we'll have to pop this red and screw back all the way for the blue it's played that well played that well but he's not finished on the right side of the blue but he's okay he's still back in the frame absolutely and, and Naveen should not have let Karthik get back into this frame he doesn't have an angle on the pink to screw back behind this red and if he's able to pot that pink and get behind the red it could very well be a frame winning visit here for or a, or a match winning visit here for Karthik. He's done that very well. That he has been striking the ball brilliantly so far. I think Naveen is to blame for for not playing that safety shot and taking that red pot on. There was never an opportunity. shot I think it's uh, three all in the other semi-final got things done well and he may have I think he's finished perfectly on the blue perfectly well on the blue to land a good position on the yellow this has been a good performance by Karthik he's produced the goods under pressure Straightforward drop of the blue into the center pocket. Now presents Naveen with the opportunity. 19 points ahead in the fifth frame. Just against run of play there for Naveen to for for Karthik rather to miss that easy blue. So good opportunity for Naveen here to put some pressure back on Kar Karthik. Snoop behind the brown. Naveen's down well there. Snooker him. I've had the uh, opportunity to speak to some of the players briefly about the playing conditions, Sasha, and they were very appreciative of how the tables have played, the role of the ball, the pace of the table, how the heaters are doing well. This is one of the best facilities in the country that we have for Absolutely. this sport. It's called the Mecca of Q Sports for that Absolutely. very reason. And Just again, it's it's a huge uh, uh, effort by KSBA, I must say, to, to continually keep uh, making tournaments for players and, and making sure that the sport is still alive. And uh, we've had probably the, the most number of world champions in Q Sports, but uh, unfortunately we are, not, we are not part of the Olympic pursuit of, uh, of our country. And, uh, so KSBA has to work that much more harder with, with BSFI to make sure that you know, the sport is constantly being made popular by and having tournaments. And it's tournaments like this that's going to go a long way sure. in making sure that happens. And like we said earlier, it, these kind of open tournaments present the opportunity for so many aspiring and young players to play against the best in the business be able to come and test themselves under pressure, learn what it is to perform up there and uh, you may not even get past a couple of rounds but but the experience is something they can take home about and, and feel happy you know and, and in the years to come they know what it is to be a champion. Absolutely and some fortune going BC Karthik's way once again that yellow could have finished anywhere. But Naveen still in control of this frame so far. He can get the cue ball to to the top top cushion here. Anywhere close to the black would be nice. Leaving he has the, the opportunity for a good snooker and put some pressure on Karthik. That would mean also leaving the yellow on the bulk cushion towards the behind the green a good safety shot here. Nicely done and I hope he's Should got the right avoid the in off. He's and been he's fortunate. done beautifully well there. Now he's got a wonderful snooker behind the black and he's put Karthik in a spot here. He does have a 19 point lead to go with it. Absolutely. 27 on the table. With two fouls and a miss Karthik would be close to out of this game or 
have a draw there. So it's 19. Let's hope he can work this angle out. One, two, maybe a three cushion shot to land the euro. No, definitely a three cushion. Could be a four cushion escape here. Or a three cushion, I'm sorry. Yeah. A three cushion escape here for from, Karthik. From, from behind it's, the team. It's a makeable shot, but what he should try to do is is not leave the bl the, the yellow on. Yeah, that would be... I think he may have uh, put in a bit more roll and top spin than he would have desired on this. Naveen's definitely putting the ball back. This is a lot harder than it looks. And uh, our chief referee, Mr. Kishore Kurana, is uh, keeping a close watch on the proceedings to ensure that uh, there's absolute fair play and everything goes on smoothly in this tournament. I'm not quite sure about the speed of the shot that he chose. Absolutely. Uh, he seemed to have landed too much top spin on that ball. And you hear about the sliding cushions, you can see the ball slide off and not go in the trajectory that he was looking at. Naveen seems unhappy about the position of the ball. It is uh, good practice for the players to not touch the ball and just instruct the marker, although over the years, I've seen a few, few players try to move the ball with their hands, which is deemed a foul in some tournaments. I think the right way to play the shot would be dead weight. Absolutely. Just try and drop in behind the yellow if he can. Seems all right. I'm not sure Naveen is uh, unhappy with the... Okay, here we go on the way. That was, making it there. that was a pretty good effort there. 27 ahead now. Maybe one last respot before we see Karthik is out of this game in case he makes a foul. Now Karthik, I'm assuming, will play a much harder and uh, wilder shot, not wanting to sell the yellow because there's no respot in play. Absolutely. But that was a good choice of shot by Naveen to, to opt for a snooker rather than trying to go for... I think this was the shot I was looking at behind the green, but yes, unfortunately, it's not made it. That's foul. No respot, three misses, and PC Karthik seems to be out of this game. He's now trailing 31 points. Naveen has the opportunity to snooker him again. And it goes back to the point where BC Karthik had the opportunity and he was in the middle of the balls and he just made uh, an error in safety. And there he is standing and staring at, uh, at the loss of this frame, That's getting true. Naveen back into the match. Most important. Naveen would need to just win this frame and he would get much needed impetus to perform well in the sixth frame. We could be headed into a tight finish here for the semi-final the way it's going. Naveen does manage to win this frame, which seems like he would. I think it is going to give him tremendous amount of confidence going into the next frame. And with that 50 break, he's also given himself a little more table time. So then when the opportunity arises, he's able to convert those breaks, which he hasn't been able to do so far in the match, except for this frame. Trying some snooker. 
No, he just has the opportunity of leaving the the yellow ball on the pocket because his opponent needs a snooker. Meanwhile, on table two, semi-final number two is all square. All square, three all, and uh, MS Arun is uh, probably uh, nineteen five, from what I can see, leading fourteen. No, I think he just leads by eight. It's just early stages in this final frame for Naveen, uh, for Arun, I must say. And he looks favourite now. Yeah. So KS yes, Naveen just has to hold himself together to get past this frame. He has it right under control so far. Barring anything spectacularly going wrong, I think he should be 3 2. Kartik getting lucky with that release there. Still needing a snooker though. still not over it's still not over I mean funnier things have happened in the game before just one snooker required here for Karthik and he could be back in the game and this is a good opportunity for him to do that so it's 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 still open if I may say so, for Karthik to claw his way back into this frame, just one snooker required. Now been probably doing the best thing given the circumstances to push the balls towards the pockets. MS Arun in the other semi-final is on a 20 break. He's leading 25-5 in the decider. Good. Deepak's just sitting in his seat, waiting, watching for him to make an unforced error. Now, could this be a snooker? I guess not. That was pretty close. Very close for Naveen there. Ominously just close. Watching the cue ball very avidly. Naveen lose shot there again. A good chance to close out this frame. This is such a different game when you're when you're in the flow, it looks so easy. So easy and when and when things aren't really going your way, when you're not able to strike the ball well. It just seems like the most difficult game to play. There's Naveen just about to solve this ball now. Mighty close to the pocket. Kartik may want to just spot this ball and give himself an opportunity to snooker on the blue. I don't think so. I don't think that would be the right play. It's just because the way the black is positioned, it's, it's very so difficult. It's just one ball. Just, yeah, I, I think that wasn't the right play. He's just done Naveen a bit of a favour there by potting that brown. Naveen won't be complaining. He really needs this frame. Karthik trying to get the black into play now. A good effort there. Naveen will have to be very careful here not to make any unforced errors from this point on. Because earlier he had a four away as a foul, now he'd be giving five away, which would then bring Karthik right back into the game. Earlier he would have had a draw, 
now we have came with Ravi mix of foul. Deepak under a bit of pressure there on table number two against MS Arun. So with just three balls on the table here, BC Karthik is going to be very uphill task to get himself a snooker. True. Especially with the black against the cushion there. And the pink right in the middle of the table, it's, it's a very, very unlikely scenario for him to find a snooker. Oh, that's a mistake there by Arun on table number two. Where is this blue going to finish? I think he's uh, not wanted the blue where he would like it. This could be an opportunity actually with the, the position that the cue ball is in. He can try to get the cue ball behind the pink and push the blue behind towards the box. This is a good opportunity. Uh, he hasn't played that well. It was a makeable snook. Definitely. Given the experience that BC Karthik has, a better effort would have been uh, more rewarding. so close to the pocket but unable to sink it in just a little anxious now yeah he knows he's got the frame and control but he's just not able to close it out and we've seen strange things happen sometimes in snooker yes yeah. so I, I i wouldn't put it past we see still but with the way these balls are positioned naveen is favorite to win this frame He's just going to hope that Naveen makes an unforeseen error here because yeah. that's the I only way he's going to find himself winning this frame. Looks highly unlikely from here. Unless he brings the black into play miraculously. Hasn't been one of the most visually appealing frames, I must say. Just prolong the un unevitable, I guess, yeah. Karthik. So. Now, Naveen will have to make sure he closes out here. Because it can actually work on your, on your, on your game when you're coming back to the next frame, when you have you know, missed so many opportunities in the previous frame. It just, uh, it just it, you know, brings down the tempo of your own game, even, if, even though you win the frame. So this is actually a good period here for Karthik actually, even though he might go down this frame. Uh, Naveen would have liked to win this frame almost 10 minutes back. So this is a prolonged frame for Naveen, which he wouldn't like going into the next frame. Here's an opportunity. Could have been a Chinese snooker. The Wuhan, as they call it these days, Sasha. Now, now these are the ones that are tricky. Now he he has to make sure that he that's that's the right choice for sure. If he if he did go for the pink pot, he 
he could lose the cue ball somewhere and he made the right choice of shot there. Here's another chance for a Chinese snooker. Karthik needs to get this black into play. And he's managing to just nudge it every time but not bring it off the cushion. Just staying afloat in this frame so far, Karthik. Trading 17. Needing the snook. Naveen's working very hard to sink that pink. I think he'll be mighty relieved when it's over, if it's over, this frame. Naveen among the few ranked players still in this tournament, so we're going to hope that he continues to win this frame and try and go on to win the match if possible to keep the hopes of a ranked player alive in this tournament because the other seeded players have been knocked out. Yeah, have all been shown the door by uh, lesser favourites. Absolutely. And it's been that kind of tournament where you've seen uh, some of the youngsters, I wouldn't call them youngsters, but maybe amateurs who've come across and produced the goods, made some important breaks. Yeah, stamped their mark and, you know, their authority in this tournament. They've uh, shown some of the senior players on how not to take the, the newer generation lightly. I must say, Bangalore has uh, been uh, uh, the hot venue for a lot of uh, academies that have come up in the last five, maybe six years. And so much is being done for the sport. It's, uh, it's, it's so, so, so heartwarming. So and it's, it's the only way you can expose this game to a larger audience, you know, with the academies. Uh, you know, like you said, four or five new academies coming up in the city. You know, I've also been working on academies in schools, which, is which I feel is is yeah. one of the key factors of you know breaking this game into the next level because the exposure which this game has lacked compared to other uh, other sports. The only way we can get that exposure is by taking it right down to the grassroots levels, getting getting kids to start this game at a very early stage in their lives. True. Naveen just can't get that ball to drop. But I guess that's the end of the frame. And Karthik's given up that one. Naveen would be happy to have closed that one out. 2-3, he's trailing now in the semi-final. And uh, this will get on to a very, very exciting sixth frame. A bit of relief there for Naveen to make sure that that frame was Absolutely. finally in his favour. And he's just one frame behind now, 3-2. As we go into frame number six. And the other game poised very beautifully as well. 44-15 in favor of MS Arun. They're three all, the decider. MS Arun is ahead by 29 with four reds on the table. Live pictures of uh, semi-final two available on the Q Sports Network Facebook page as well. So if you guys want to go ahead and have a look at that match and come right back here after a short break.
just waiting to resume the semi final frame number 6 coming up bc karthik leads 3 2 it's been a, an interesting match so far with both players just about showing glimpses of performance but not really going all out we haven't seen big breaks we're still waiting to see a, a really significant break in this match but bc karthik has looked the better player so far but he has given he has given an opportunity to Naveen to come back into the match. But Naveen has grabbed it with both hands. And the important frame coming up for Naveen. So frame number six, it's going to be BC Karthik to break. The semi final number one in the Karnataka State Open Snooker Championship 2022. We've had some fantastic matches here in the pre quarters and quarters. Some upsets, some great performances. We've seen a high break of 87 by B. Bhaskar, who lost out in the pre quarters. He's not, he's not here. We had some good performances from Sean Davis as well, who was beaten comprehensively by BC Karthik in yesterday's quarterfinals. And BC Karthik has the first opportunity once again. He's played that well. I'm not sure if the black is on, but if it is, it's a good opportunity for BC Karthik once again. But from the looks of it, I don't think it's on. So it will just have to be a containing safety here for BC Karthik. A good red pot, unfortunate to have not gotten better position on the black. Not the best safety. Could have done much better with the cue ball there. Naveen has been choosing the wrong shot choices sometimes. Once again, could have played off the bunch here for a safety because he's, he was always going to push that red towards the left corner and now he's left another opportunity here for BC Karthik. So many unforced errors of this nature. And this time around, he does have position on the black and has a red that can go to the left corner. So once again, the Early mistakes from Naveen could be expensive. MS Arun goes on to win semi-final number two and book himself a place in the final. BC Karthik will have to make sure that he composes himself and makes this break count. He has produced the 40s and 50s quite consistently in this match so far, so I wouldn't put it past him here to bring up another important break. He needs to just uh, compose himself and he's got. As we say that, commentator's curse kicks in. Sure. Such a good first half, and now he's faltering. Played that with a tremendous amount of check side, which I feel was cost him the pot, yes. The reason for that pot not going in. And now he's handed a pretty easy opportunity here for Naveen to get back. True that. Naveen being the seasoned campaigner, old fox as we call him. He needs just these little opportunities back into the game. We'll have to drop this red in and leave himself a nice angle so he can either goes into the bunch or he plays on the loose red. There is one red that still goes to the right corner and if he can finish lower on that red he he'll be able to open out a few more reds from the bunch. So we'll have to see what strategy Naveen applies here. It would tell us a bit about his mindset, the aggression with which he wants to play.
and that's just not acceptable at this stage or at this level of the game. Just a regulation pot. Lapse of concentration then for both players. Again, oh. another. You can see the nerves dangling right now from both players. VC Karthik needs to get hold of himself. Take some time. Both players handing over the reds on a platter to each other. VC Karthik should have played that shot with a little more care. That was an easy pot. It, it definitely required a little more attention than he gave it. Here's another mistake from Naveen. Just not being able to strike the ball as well as he would have liked. And I think it should be end of break here. I'm sure he's not going to take this red on. He seems to be lining up to pot it, Sasha. It would be much to my surprise this could if be he went for the red. If this doesn't go well, it could be curtains. Or oh, he doesn't take on that red. Goes for the double, which is okay. A shot to nothing. Definitely a better choice of shot. Had he flipped it, he would have left himself a shot on the pink. Back to cat and mouse then. 16-17. 3-2 in favor of BC Karthik. The other semi-finals seemed a lot, lot more flamboyant and uh, players playing with consumer ease compared to this. A uh, couple of frames have been scrappy. Big match, a lot of nerves jangling for the players. Karthik taking this pot on and it's does very well. That is a brilliant kind of pot punch. under extreme pressure. You need to get back your confidence. And he's on the right side of the pink just to drop that in and he's got the red that goes to the left corner so this is a good opportunity once again. Oh, opting to go for the red in the same pocket. He's played that well. now he has played the pressure shots well must must give him that he hasn't played that very well though that could have gone better it's not the best positional shot, shot he's played he hasn't had a very good cue ball through this match if he's on this red I think he's very 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 fortunate but it seems pretty unlikely Could just curve around the black with a bit of right hand side and pop the black in the same pocket. Yeah, that's yes. the right way to play that shot. Beautifully done there. But he hasn't left himself any angle to go into the bunch, so he'll he'll have to take on the difficult red, which is towards the bottom of the table. Just building that slender lead now, he's got a 17 point lead, 18 with that. Uh, or rather 24 with that black and not another not a not a good position shot once again should have left himself on the right side of the table so not making things easy for himself here Karthik Once again, I think the shot that he needs to play here is is the red off the top of the bottom cushion and leave the cue ball tight on the bottom cushion. It's a regulation shot, but he has to stretch a little bit. Never the most comfortable shot queuing over a ball like that, Sasha. 
he's done all right. To play he's done well. Day. He's done well. A good chance here to get the cue ball behind the green if he can. And he's tried that. He's done that well. He has enough pace on that to get caught. I think he's done well. Around. I think he's done well. All the, all the reds in the open now. One mistake from either players could be very, very expensive. The two cushion thin escape. Oh, it's played it brilliantly. He's done what well a fantastic there. shot that is from Karthik. He's done really well there, Karthik. So much pressure on that shot. Could have gone tremendously wrong for him. And he hasn't left Naveen a ball, so. That's worked out well. Naveen's played a decent safety shot there. He's done well, Naveen. We'll have to keep concentrating really hard here, Naveen, to make sure he doesn't make any of those unforced errors that he's been making throughout this match. And now would be a good time to get it right because he's trailing 2-3. That's a good shot there by Karthik. Seven reds to go. 16-40. Naveen trailing 24 points in the sixth frame. This is a difficult shot. Pin off the red. He doesn't catch us a pin. He catches it thick. And there's Half the error. Half a chance with for BC Karthik. There's the error. But that was an infused error by a good safety by BC Karthik in the previous shot. But this is no gimme again. A lot of pressure on this spot. These are missable. well not really bothered about where the cue ball would finish and it hasn't finished very well but he can play a snooker behind the green and I think that's what he's opting to do he hasn't played that well at all he hasn't he could have taken some more time on that one yeah he needs to slow down a little bit BC Karthik this is the second time in this frame he's hurried into a shot he does have the match in his grasp but just seems like he's willing to give it away. Has he gotten away with this? Not really. Maybe I think the red goes. Given him that red down the line there, yes. And, and sufficient angle to get back comfortably either on the blue or the black. Absolutely. If he's able to screw this back for the black, I think it could be a frame winning opportunity. He's played that well. Take one good look at the black being spotted back here. I think the tactical play of Naveen has let him down today. Absolutely. That's one of his strengths and today he hasn't been able to bring that A game on. Played of many wild shots in my opinion. Much to my liking. So right here this could be this could be the important break for BC Karthik. These are, these are the these are the chances that you need to take and close out matches. Absolutely, Sasha. Thirty-four points in the lead. He sinks this black, and it could be forty-one. And it gives him a very very handy lead now, with four reds on the table. I think he's okay on this red. Anxious moments there. I think that red goes. Just have to hold for the black. Little stun. Nice little shot there. He's played that well. So 42 points in the lead. Just the black and another red. And it's Naveen's out of the game. Just needed that cue ball to roll a couple of more inches. But he's okay. He's okay. He's all right. 51 on the table. 
49 points to lead now. Ahead. This is frame ball. Just has to make sure he drops this red in. Not worry about the position. Yes, yeah, he does. That, that was game ball there. It's, it's been a brilliant performance by BC Karthik. Once again, producing that important 25-30 break when it really matters. Yes, absolutely. He has looked the better player for sure through this match and I think Naveen has a lot of thinking to do. Go back to the drawing board perhaps not one of his finest performances. And that's an exceptional shot if he makes the can. Oh very unlucky. Great effort. But it doesn't really matter because I think he has enough points on, on the board. I don't see Naveen coming back to the table. Naveen decides to continue, has 43 on the table, the lead is 54, so that's three snookers required. Naveen's going to have an uphill task. Just hoping against hope here. I think uh, BC Karthik has done enough to win this match. It's just a matter of time, I guess. Another red down, and I think Naveen should uh, resign this match. I think that should do it. That should do it. The players shake hands, and well we have our Karthik. second finalist as well, BC Karthik, defeating Naveen comprehensively with a 4 2 victory. Moving into the final, we're going to bring you live coverage of the final from the Karnataka State Builders Association at 3, 3 p.m. So, Make sure you guys join us again. Thank you for being with us. Stay On behalf tuned, of my fellow commentator, Tilak, Thank we're you, going Sasha. to sign off now and we're going to see you back soon. At 3 p.m. it is. Bye-bye for now.